Yo, I didn't tell you guys about the shift, though, that I, I worked two doubles, uh, 7 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. I took a 12.30 p.m. No, I took a 12 o'clock lunch break, and then I got, like, maybe some 15-minute breaks that didn't interrupt the pay. But, yeah, man, I didn't think I could do that. You know, working this job at the hospital part-time uh, brings a new, it gives a new meaning to the, my favorite scripture in the Bible, Philippians 4.13. I could do all things through Jesus Christ who gives me strength. Yes, you cannot do uh, two doubles plus an eight for the holiday without having the strength of God. You know what I'm saying? There's people that do it, but they complain the whole time or they look all sad and or they doing it just to survive. But there's no life behind it. You know what I'm saying? But when you can go in and just smile, like I go in at 7 a.m. smiling, I smile throughout the day. I met a lot of great people. Um, and then at 11.30 p.m., I tell my, my supervisor, good night. You know, I'm still still smiling. Everyone is very excited that I'm there. Everyone's excited that to know that they hired a Christian. Uh, my supervisor, my supervisor graduated from Rama. She's a believer. Uh, the supervisor over her, um, he's a believer. Um, there's a lady named uh, Paula that was really cool. Uh, she's a believer, so it's really cool being surrounded by believers and just the hospital in general. Um, like there's scriptures on the floor um, ingrained and then also the workers there are very pleasant I haven't used that word in a long time in America but yes people there are very pleasant and people there are very generous They're always willing to give and these are people that are like you know sick and not feeling well and they're still trying to serve you so I just thought that that was awesome. I just wanted to share that testimony, how God uh, has put people across my path for this season. I'm really excited. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people have been there for like 13, 15, 20 years. Of course, the pay is extremely well, even for me being hired for two days. I work two days a week, and the pay is ridiculous. Like, I could pay two house mortgages with the amount that and you guys know what the basic amount of a, a, a house mortgage is these days. And um, it's a blessing. I told myself, I said, I don't want any more debt. I want to pay cash for my car. I want to save some money and then I'll retire. Now, normally my retirement are like six months. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited. So you guys keep me in prayer. I'm going to do it for a few months. And then after that. I will leave because that's just how it is. We go there for it. We go to places in life for a season. And then after that, God moves us on. You know, I don't see myself there in you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 years. You know, but those people that have been there, man, that's a blessing. Yeah. But there's no way, man, my body, like, that's 16 hours. Who does 16 hour shifts? people were talking about unemployment rate you know in Tulsa nah that's a fallacy man people are lazy and they don't want to work because there's so many people that are hiring right now it's not even funny come talk to me if you're trying to get a job email me in the midst dj at hotmail.com I'll either interview you at my job you know what I'm saying or you can go through a temp service, or you could just go up to the job itself. People just need to stop making excuses, man. People want to see results. Next summer is going to be great, man. We got some special things planned. I'm trying to do the DJ thing. I think I'm going to go get a utility van for like $1,000, and then I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to have a scripture on the side. I'm going to take a picture. We're going to blow it up. And then we're going to wrap it. I think that would be exclusive. What do you guys think? Like entrepreneur style, man.
I ain't gonna be here forever. I gotta, I gotta get everything set up for my son. You know what I'm saying? But we about to be out, man. We're gonna make some popcorn and get off my legs, my feet. They ache a little bit, but it's all good though. Thursday's payday. We're gonna go get some. We're gonna go get some. Uh, you know those therapeutic shoes. You guys thought I was gonna say Air Jordans. That's in December. But I'm gonna get some all black therapeutic shoes. So my feet won't hurt. And I gotta call. I gotta call a high performance shop. Hopefully they're done with what I told them to do. I just told them, I told them Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel style. And they, they apparently knew what that meant. So we're gonna check on them in a bit. Shouts out to Humble Performance. Shouts out to Toy Speed Motorsports. Thank you guys for everything that you guys are doing right now. Everything should be ready by next spring, early summer. I don't want to see it until it's done. That's what the rule is. Alright. Shouts out to Paul Walker. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Vin Diesel. <laughs> uh, you guys are curious. Alright, we out though. Straight up.